Hello, my name is Joseph Alcala, and I'm a software solutions engineer here at Hitachi Vantara. In this video, I will share with you the observations made during a scale-out procedure of different models of the VSP 5500 family, which had active, local, and remote replication configurations. The most important observation being that these procedures were non-disruptive. Our first case is a scale out of two two node VSP 5500 models with an active GAD configuration, which were upgraded to VSP 5500 four node models. The VSP 5500 two node model provides four microprocessor units or MPUs and can connect up to 64 fiber channel ports. The next in the family is the VSP5500 Forno model. The Forno model provides 8 MPUs and can connect up to 120 fiber channel ports. We conducted this evaluation to verify that the scale out of the VSP5000s could be done non-disruptively with an active global active device or GAT configuration in place. This was the configuration before the scale out with the two VSP5500 two node models. The number of GAT pairs was 512. In the procedure, the primary VSP that was receiving the host IOs was upgraded from two nodes to four nodes. With the scale out of the secondary VSP, the procedure was complete. Here is the configuration after we upgraded both the primary and secondary VSPs. During the upgrade procedure, the 512 GAT pairs remained in pair state doing replication with the primary VSP volumes uninterruptedly receiving host IO from an application running at a steady IO rate of 210,000 IOPS. Let's zoom in to this application, which over the last year has increased its user demand, and we are now running at a level that does not meet our SLAs of having a response time not exceeding one millisecond and needs to be fixed. After we completed the scale-out procedure, the response time improved by 100%. At this point, the performance was that of the superior 4-node VSP model and within the agreed SLAs. The entire process included a scale-out of primary and secondary storage systems followed by a rebalance of the MPUs. This procedure was non-disruptive. In summary, the VSP 5502-node to 4-node scale-out procedure with a GAD setup actively replicating data showed that the procedure is not disruptive, host IO response time is not impacted, MPU utilization is not affected, GAD pairs remain active in pair state replicating data. This completes the GAD scale-out case. Next. Let's take a brief look at similar evaluations with Hitachi Universal Replicator, or HUR, and Hitachi Thin Image, or HTI. To evaluate HUR, we upgraded two VSP 5100 units in a two data center HUR configuration to VSP 5500 2-node models. The number of pairs in pair state was 512 using four journal groups and the active workload of our application during the procedure was a steady 110,000 IOPS. After we completed the scale out and MPU rebalance, we observed throughput improvements of 100% in the VMware large block workload. To evaluate HTI, we upgraded a 4-node VSP5500 model with HTI pairs to a 6-node model. 
the VSP had a set of 512 HTI pairs in split state. These pairs remained in split state during the procedure. In application workload at a steady I.O. rate of 520,000 IOPS was active while the upgrade was taking place. After we completed the scale out and MPU rebalance, we observed a response time improvement of 24% in the steady state VMware large block workload. For the HUR and HTI cases, the conclusions were similar to those of the GAD case. This concludes the evaluation of the VSP 5100 and 5500 family scale out procedures with HUR, GAD, and HTI. Thank you.